Hello, this is Delinda here with Cincy. I'm a director, in, an independent Cincy director from Oklahoma. And you guys, I have some fun things to show you today. Um, one of the first to be able to show you some of these things that are new for the Fall Winter Catalog for 2021, which starts August 1st. Yay, I'm excited. And y'all, I had the privilege of getting some of these items early. And now I'm going to share them with you. Um, <clears throat> let's talk about <clears throat> the 10 new scents that you've never smelled before. Totally brand new release scents. First one, Blue Sage and Tonka. All right, let me tell you about it. Revel in the richness of midnight sage and black lavender over the sultry sweetness of tonka bean. Mm, this is a masculine scent to me. A uh, real rich, dark. I really like it. I've got my favorites though too. All right. Uh, the next one, let's look at spiced ember glow and does that not say to you fall um smoked apple and a toasted oat vanilla over cinnamon embers offer a warm and inviting escape this one totally smells holiday oh you can smell that cinnamon in there and vanilla um total fall scent right here one of my favorites um you know we have had cozy fireside that has a little smoke smell to it this one is not as prominent smoke and i like this one better personally so spiced ember glow right here all right so now one of my very favorites out of the top these top 10 new releases and that's because anybody who knows me knows i am fruity <laughs> i love the fruits and this one is pomegranate prosecco so let me read about pomegranate prosecco to you De detectable roseberry and pomegranate Add an effervescent splash to a flute of pink Prosecco. So it's supposed to be kind of like a rosé or a wine. I, don't, I just smell fruit. It's more on the pomegranate side. One of my favorites. One of my favorites. It is... Um, it could be for spring or summer, fall or winter. It's just a good all-around fruit smell. All right, then when I think of fall, winter, I think of a lot of bakery scents. And we've got one for you, a brand new one called Graham Cracker Crunch. Let me see if you can see. Graham Cracker Crunch. Y'all, it smells like graham crackers with a little more. So let's read what it's about. Um, car caramelized graham crackers layered with crunchy peanut butter and creamy vanilla bean. Mm. Now that they say that, that is exact. Okay, if I was to take if I was to take a graham cracker and spread it with peanut butter, this is it. That is the smell, exactly. All right, there you go. And that's it. for you bakery lovers, you'll probably want that one for sure. All right, this probably is my all-time favorite out of the new collection. And it is just fall wrapped up in a package. And it's called Harvest blessings I don't know if you can see it harvest blessings and you guys radiant apple 
spiced pumpkin, and smooth oak embody everything you love about autumn. Well, let me tell you. I smell a little bit of clove and cinnamon, too. They don't list that as ingredients, but... Y'all, this is fall. This is fall in your home, right here. It's fall at a festival. It's fall at boutiques. This is it. This is it, Harvest Blessings. All right, this next one. I love this one, too. Very different, because uh, we've had one called cashmere. And so that's what I thought this would smell like, and it doesn't. It's not like cashmere that we had before at all. I love this one. It's called cashmere and corduroy. And let me tell you what it says about cashmere and corduroy. Wrap yourself up in the coziness of creamy vanilla, Sicilian bergamot, and cashmere sandalwood. Now, you would think by the sandalwood and the bergamot that it would be more on the masculine side. And it's not. It is just, it's cozy. It's very cozy. It's not masculine. Um, but it's not very, it's not like perfume either. It's just a very wonderful, cozy scent. I don't know how else to describe it. You need to try this one. Okay, now the next one is another one that I love. <coughs> Which, um, some of you may have, ha have had one of these for real. And that is Eucalyptus Wreath. Have you ever had a eucalyptus wreath? Well, that's what this smells like. Um, fresh eucalyptus is woven with juniper and adorned with frosted mint. This would be more to more the Christmas holiday to me. And I'm not an evergreen person much. Smells so good and fresh. <sighs> That's a holiday scent to me. Okay, so my hair is sticking up and I can't tell which way to put it down. Okay, <clears throat> now let's look at this one. <clears throat> this one is to me a another bakery scent. And it is called Cinnamon Butter Mint. So that sounds like um, something you would ice something with. Let's read about it. Uh, Italian buttercream. <laughs> you had me at Italian buttercream. Um, and creamy marscapone scooped over cinnamon cake. Combined sugar, spice, and everything nice. Like I said, it's more like an icing. Now I really can smell the Italian buttercream. Oh, Y'all, if you like bakery scents and you like vanilla, you will probably like this one. And it's, I can really smell the Italian but, uh, buttercream. This one is called Tinselberry. Another holiday. Another holiday Tinselberry. All right, let's read about it. Strawberry and cranberry. You don't normally think of strawberry for the holidays, but the scent strawberry and combined with cranberry dipped in cinnamon and sweet sugar for a little extra sparkle. And you know I love it because it's fruit. But I never think of strawberries and cinnamon together. But this is wonderful. Y'all, you just got to try this one. It is really good. I mean, there's cranberry mix, too, to make it more holiday. But I really smell the strawberry and cinnamon. So, 
I like it. Uh, there's not a bad one in this bunch so far. Scarlet <clears throat> Sunflower. Now, you would think Sunflower would be a spring-summer scent. I did when I read the name. And so, but listen to this. Juicy apple and a hint of red cranberry and are brightened by the scarlet sunflower turning to face the sun. So, apple and cranberry. I don't know how to describe this. It's fall. It really is fall. Maybe more like when you have mums all around and you've got different things around. That's more like what this smells like to me. It's not, um, not cinnamon. I don't even think it has cinnamon in it. Um, let's look again. No, I don't, I don't think of <clears throat> spice. I just think of, oh my gosh, that is good. That's all I can say. That is good. All right, 10 new scents coming that you've never smelled before. Now, I have basket kits, and they have samples of every one of these if you want to borrow my bags and take them for a week or so and try to get orders yourself and so then you'll be able to smell them um but we besides those we have a lot of returning holidays uh things that we've had in the past that some of your old faithfuls um <clears throat> be merry christmas cottage dancing sugar plums perfect peppermint polar bear hug okay Polar Bear Hug may throw you for a loop. It is a returning scent. The name has just been changed. Polar Bear Hug was Eskimo Kiss, but it's now called Polar Bear Hug. Red Berry and Spruce, Snowberry, Very Merry Cranberry, Very Merry Spruce, and Winterberry Apple Tea. And there's some others like Cider Mill and all those that are coming back too. Wonderful, wonderful, lots of scents for you to choose from uh, for fall and winter, plus some of your favorites and bestsellers. But now, are y'all ready? Are you ready to see some specials um, that I was able to get my hands on early? And that's warmers. I get so excited about our new warmers and um, getting to see what's coming out in the new catalog. So... Here we go. I have one, two, three, four, five new warmers to show you that are in the catalog. I don't know how good they're going to come across here on this, but I'm going to show you and we'll see. Are you ready for this? This first one is called, and I know you can't see it, Amazing Grace. That is beautiful and it's with the rough um, outer and then the engraving of Amazing Grace. Now I want to show you something special about this. Let's see. Let me turn it on. It will take a minute to adjust on screen. I, I think it just washed it out. I don't even think you can see how but the wording in per there, the wording in person. Oh, I almost had it showing a while ago. Oh. Let me see if I can do something to make it show up better for you. Put this back here. No, it's too late. Hold on. Let me see if I can turn my this down. Let me see if that shows any better. Well, I'm 
not gonna, I'm not capturing the wording for you. It is bright, and it says Amazing Grace, all lit up. It just does not come across at all on this. It just looks blank. It's beautiful, y'all. And another thing I wanted to show you is, look on the back. It projects uh, onto your wall the doves. Let me turn it off and show you the cutouts. And it looks like angels. And those three together make it look like this beautiful angel. And this one means a lot to me right now. Because, you know, this week we just lost my dad. The song Amazing Grace was played at his service. And that's not even showing up on here now, is it? Maybe way back here you can see it. Um, and my daddy saw the angels. My daddy saw the angels that were coming to take him home and was telling about it. So this one is extra special to me right now. And what perfect timing. Thank you, Cincy, for letting me uh, have that wonderful cherished memory and be able to display it in my home. Another one that I'm excited about is, I'll have to unplug this one. I wish that would have really shown up on screen for you because it was just gorgeous. Um, another one I'm excited about, y'all, this one is called Flaunt Your Feathers. And I don't know if you can see, but it's all these mosaic glass uh, of blues and greens. And, oh, it's just absolutely gorgeous. And it looks like a um, peacock. So for all of my Donny Osmond fans, you know, we love the peacock since Donny was the peacock on Dancing, um, no, what was, what is the, oh, the mask singer. He was the peacock. Now, this too, you cannot believe it until it's lit up. And once again, my screen is probably not going to do it justice, but we're going to see. We're going to see. Where did that go? I love this one. Where am I going to put all these warmers, people? I've got the most beautiful warmers in my home. And I don't want to get rid of any of them. Oh, if you could see this in person. Oh, it is just gorgeous. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh. Uh, we don't have a lot of blue and greens, but I've always loved the color blue and green together. Um, in the 60s and 70s, did you know when airlines had stewardess, uh, they had outfits that were blue, uh, Kelly blue, or and Kelly green, or navy and Kelly green, that's what it was. And I always thought those two colors were the sharpest colors in the world together. They just look so fancy and professional. Um, on the back of our warmers, before I put this up, we have the cord. There's always a notch in the warmers for you to be able to put your cord here so that your warmer stands up straight. All right, I have, let's see. And Okay, well, let's look at this one. This one is called, let me get my book, because I forget the name of this one. I think it's called, Grace. so it's this one. Sorry. 
This one is called Glisten. Ooh, and does it glisten? Um, let me see. Let me plug it up for you. Fun. You guys, this is just a few of them of the brand new. You can't imagine um, how many beautiful ones. And the decor um, is so on trend, all of them. All right, this one is called Cherished. And I don't know if you can see, but it's got the ombre. And it's all cut glass, mosaic glass. Shiny, beautiful. Okay, let's turn it on and see what it looks like. See if it comes across the way it's supposed to on camera. No, you're not going to be able to see it. Nope, another one that it washes it out. Uh, y'all, in person, this is gorgeous. So pretty. Um, you just have to take my word for it because it really does wash it out. All right, two more things to show you. I, I y'all. Plus, our partnership with Disney, our partnership with Warner Brothers has just made our limited time offers this whole uh, fall, winter season. What's coming, you just won't believe and you will not want to miss. Okay, this one's called Salerno. This is a mini warmer. Hold on. You can buy a tabletop base for it, but it comes as a plug-in for those small areas. And it is the rough porcelain, but it is finished inside so that your wax can go down in here. This is a solid white with patterns. And y'all, this is on trend. This is so European, and if you watch... um. A lot of TV shows, it's everything's white. White, white, white. And you're going to find a lot of the solid whites for just that um, decorative reasoning. All right. Also, you beach lovers, even though it's fall, winter, <coughs> a lot of you decorate. <coughs> Excuse me. With the beach. Some of you live in areas that are beachfronted all the time. Look at this one. And I know you can't see it, but that is blue. That is a blue motif on the white, um, unfinished like porcelain. And it kind of has a chinois, you know, chintz look to it with the blue and white. And it is just gorgeous. Look at all that. Got your octopus, your crab, and your starfish, seahorse, and looks like a blowfish. It is just gorgeous. Love it. There you go. So, all you sea lovers, this one is cute as can be. All right, I don't, don't want to take up more of your time, y'all. But I'm so excited about the new release catalog. If you want to um, see everything that is uh, available on my website for 2021 fall winter, it starts Sunday, August 1st. And um, just click and go through and look at everything. And just go to delindalida.com is the easiest, if you know how to spell my name, D-E-L-Y-N-D-A-L-Y-D-A.com, and it'll take you to my Cincy website. And you guys, I would love for you to join my team, um, because you will never have as much fun as you will being involved with a group like ours. We're a blast, we have fun, um, and hey, you might make some money. 
You may even change your life. You may get to travel with me. Who knows? Just give us a try. Um, but you won't regret it. So come join my team. Well, Delinda and the Sensations, and it's enjoined from my website. Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.